I'm about to give you the best podcasting advice you've gotten to date. That is, don't start a podcast, don't run a podcast just because you're in love with the concept, okay? It's just like if you're single and you go and you find someone and you marry them just because you love them. You know, you don't know how you guys are going to live because you don't aren't making the money and you don't communicate well. So those are two really important things in marriage. I've been married 28 years, so I can tell you now I know there's ups and downs and I'm not going to you know, explain like how to stay married, but I can tell you that finances and communication are the top two reasons that people divorce, um, you know, throwing kids as well. But right now we're just going to talk about those two things. And when you're looking at a podcast, it's exactly the same thing. So I'm watching, you know, there was this big boom in podcasting. It just absolutely exploded. So everyone's doing podcasts and maybe you've seen that too. And out of that has come all these people who's giving, who are giving all this advice, which has been really fascinating to me because I've been doing this for a while. We've got a system to help podcasters. So I've been kind of taking that information in, these articles and these ads. I've kind of taken some time and been kind of quiet, just, just kind of um, marinating on what's happening because I feel like there's finally more data out about podcasting. And so I just want to make sure that my assumptions are true. So I'm reading all these articles that are really the opposite of our, our approach to podcasting. I'm reading things like, you know, this is how you get, you know, 2000 downloads on an episode. And this is, you know, don't worry about monetization. All these people come out and they tell you about monetizing, but don't worry about that. You just need to build a great show. Now, there is some truth to both of those things. You do want an audience, otherwise nobody's listening. And then you also don't want monetization to disrupt the content. So you, you know, you have to have a great show. So just like with marriage, you have to be in love with it. You need to be excited about it. You need to have something to share, but it just cannot stop there. Think about how many people we've met who divorced within a year because they just couldn't make it. That created a lot of, um, you know, they couldn't make it financially. That created a lot of struggles. They weren't getting their message across to each other. They weren't communicating. Therefore, not only do they divorce quickly or split up quickly, but it's a miserable time along the way. I don't want that to happen to you in podcasting. You have a great idea and it's time that you have a more balanced podcast and a more sustainable podcast. So just like with marriage, you want to look at monetization. You want to look at how can you monetize it without worrying about the audience because guess what you can't control that there are all these things that you can do and we've got we've got systems but you know you can read there's like a billion articles right now exaggeration obviously there are so many articles about how to grow your audience and the bottom line is is you're growing a tribe your communication is more important than how many zeros are at the end of the digit that represents how many downloads you've gotten Focus on that love and that passion and communicating and how can you get it out there? And then from there, how can you monetize it without it being tied to your audience? Because then you are sitting, this is your marriage counseling for podcasting. You're sitting in this room and I'm telling you, you know, look at your finances. How can you make it sustainable so that you can enjoy podcasting? You can focus on the thing that you truly are in love with and make those other things part of your your ecosystem so that it's happening the communication's happening the monetization's happening but your focus gets to be on the love because you've attended to the to two things that are so important comment let me know what you think